each driver gets a power and negative wire from the power supply and a direction and a pulse wire coming from the USB board. These wires will control the movement of the motor. Now many of you guys already know there's a problem. We see no EMI mitigation being done at all. There's no double shielded cable being used. I don't think I have to say it, but I'll say it anyways, and I'll provide evidence for those that get butt hurt. The USB breakout board is not only ridiculously cheap, it's ridiculously cheap for a reason because it's USB, Universal Serial Bus. Once again, Universal Serial Bus is guaranteed to produce the most unstable robot possible. Why is that? It's very, very susceptible to EMI. It's extremely susceptible to grounding issues. It's extremely susceptible to voltage spikes. Once again, we know that there's large amounts of EMI present regardless of what plasma cutter you're using. And when you have a USB breakout board, you do not have to believe me. Here is proof from forums to actual proof from Balzus, who is the lead engineer of CNC drives UC100, explaining why their unit disconnects. And you've got more forums. You've got Arduinos, and you can read for yourself what guys with plasma systems go through. Why this board is used for no other reason other than its price and lack of knowledge in this field dealing with robotics to understand that once you build instability in a robot it's a time bomb you don't know when it's going to go off but you can rest assured that if it's there it can literally show its face at any point in time and if it does it when you're machining oh well